going on guys? Gabriel say aka the truth back with another video and today is the long awaited dumbbell only pull session wall back and biceps. You know what I'm saying? Now the reasons why I did these videos was mainly to try and simulate something where say you got say you've got like your you're still training at home for one and you've only got a small space with limited equipment or you're in a gym and you have like your own little section that you want to train in and you just want to try to maximize what you can without going to the rack and like waiting for someone else to finish because I know the gyms are busy as hell right now. So this workout is specifically utilizing the dumbbells, a few dumbbells that you might have or the adjustable ones and a single band. For everyone that keeps asking me where I get the bands from, I got them from my protein. I think they still stock them, but don't quote me on that. But before we get into the video, you know what to do. Smash the ting, yeah? So as you know, you probably would have seen the trend by now is I like to start each workout with like a a primer, a pull, yeah, let's call it a primer. And this specific primer is split into three different exercises, all just using bands and utilizing the dumbbell as dead weight. And it's literally for three sets of 10 reps. And it's just, rather than using weighted stuff or just doing body weight, the band has resistance either way. So then it, it kind of primes the muscle, allows you to like get a better contraction, but also gives you the resistance on the way back out. So the first exercise in this trio is, I wanted to simulate like the lat pull down. And I didn't want to use a rack because if you've got your own specific space in the gym or you're in a room in your house that doesn't have a pull-up bar, not everyone has somewhere to put a pull-up bar. So I wanted to simulate this without using a pull-up bar. Second one in this trio, flip over and you're basically seated like a seated row. And you're going for that kind of like V-grip position like that and just pulling it in. It's nice and tight, get a good squeeze, get a good mind-muscle connection ready for the exercises that we're gonna be doing. Then the final one of this trio is the scapular retraction. This is probably one of the key things when it comes to the movement for your back exercises. And a lot of people will have weak scapular retraction and end up just using their arm for a lot of the motion. Although you're not meant to separate each movement like scapular retract and then pull. It's meant to be one fluid motion, but the scapular retraction is a key fundamental piece of most back exercises. Okay, then we move on to exercise number one, which, <laughs> First time I did these, I, w I was shocked because my dumbbells go up to 30 kilos, right? So I was thinking, how can I make this harder because it's not the heaviest weight um, I've shifted on a dead stop row. So one, I haven't done dead stop rows in a while. Then two, three in the one and a half reps. And that just sent me. I was like, you know when you write something down, and you're like, who's the dickhead that wrote this, bruv? And again, the scapular retraction bit comes into this as well, because when you're in that dead stop position, you're not pulling your whole body to the ground, so you're already retracted in the scapula. You're letting it really extend and then pull. And then you've got tight, pull back, and then down, making sure that it's a dead stop every single time. All the sets and reps are on the screen. I've also written the full workout in the description box, so if you wanna go down, screenshot, do whatever you like. Now for exercise number two, I wanted to do pullovers, but I, I didn't wanna do, I like the resistance that the band gives. It, give, it gives that kind of simulation of cable work, because you've got the resistance coming up and you've got the resistance coming down, and it, it adds a, another level of control in certain movements. And I wanted to add this to the pullovers. So what I did, like I did with the, the lap pull down, warm up, use that system so it's wrapped around the dumbbell and then looped it around the dumbbell that I'm going to be holding and use that so it allowed me to get a bit further forward because with this exercise gravity is what really does the job like as well as the weight but you know equations and shit gravity and the weight so when it gets to a certain point and it gets to the top there's no real tension on any of the muscles so that's why I thought maybe adding the band then allows it just like the machine does. So that's the whole basis of that exercise. Then on to exercise number three, we've already done a row which comes fist to hip, uh, which is mainly targeting the lower lats. Wanted something to target the upper back and the, you know, a little bit of the rear delts and traps. So this one we're going with the upper back row, same kind of position. So you want a flat back, but you're bringing it out a little bit wider to the side, still controlled and still having a slight angle in your arm. So it's not dead out at a right angle. The weights are going to be a little bit lighter because you, you have that kind of like, there's a move, uh, there's a moment arm. Um, which means that it's a, it's a bit harder on the shoulder joint to keep it stable as opposed to when you're bringing it 
um, tight to your hip. So just be mindful of that, yeah? When you're picking your weight. And then we're gonna segue into the next exercise which slots in nicely with what we've just done on the upper back and that is the rear delt fly. So the main key for this is just making sure that your elbows are out. We're pulling from the elbows, you're not pulling from the hands because then it just turns into another upper back exercise, which is not what we want to specifically target with this exercise. I feel like as I was talking, like my posture was just deteriorating. Straight back, come on. Just trained it, mate. And just before we move on to like the bicep, I call them finishers, because you work a lot of your bicep when you're training back anyway. We're gonna hit the traps. And no, we're not gonna do standing big shrugs. We're gonna do kneeling. So now there's no, there's no jerking, there's no leg drive, it's just pure traps. Making sure that we're getting it nice, tight and high. We're pulling up and slightly back, so you wanna target the entire trap. It's not just here, your trap goes all the way down the middle of your back as well. So it's up and back. Okay, then we move on to the Zottman curls. So these are great, this is a great exercise anyway. So lying on a 45 degree bench, you're gonna pull it up with your palms facing towards you, twist at the top, and then down with your palms facing away from you. And then finish off this workout with seated hammer curls. Again, seated because hammer curls is one of those ones that everyone likes, so every bicep exercise people like to cheat. The hammer curls seated will humble you very fast. Put down that 50 kg dumbbell, pick up the 20 and do the RAS rep properly. And that is it, that completes this, this uh, mini series that took me six months to make. <laughs> But I'm back. I'm back with um, weekly videos. Yeah, let me know what you wanna, what you want me to make next. Leave it in the comments down below. I might create a PDF for for this for this series of workouts so you can download, and you can use it in the gym or at your home gym as you please. Thank you for your time. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with with like your grandma.